Lindsay Lacosto is the, with Downtown Henderson Partnership. She's exactly the executive director. And she's here with so many things to tell you about that I'm just going to hush up and let you roll. Right, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so next week in downtown, we have a lot of stuff going you on. You do. A lot of stuff. Uh, starting on Thursday, Halloween, we have our downtown trick-or-treat. So that's with all of our merchants, all of our downtown businesses from 3 to 5. Bring your kiddos down. Uh, just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All of the businesses, um, they've gotten competitive over recent years and start like dressing up themselves. So there's some cool themes and again, just a great um, thing to do on, on Halloween. And, and safe. I've, I mean, yes. you know where your kids yes. are, you know the people you're going to see. Right. Good, right. good plan. Have you done this before? You've done yes. this in the past. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's something that we've done for qu quite a few years, um, and it just keeps growing. You know, there's so many trunk or treats, downtown trick or treat options, like you said, that are very safe. It's still light outside, so um, just a great opportunity to bring your kids downtown and maybe stay afterwards and have dinner at one of our downtown restaurants. They're all so, good. They are all good. Are. Now, do, do the kids need to start at a certain place? No, and they can start just, wherever they want. Whatever you just yep. start, and is it all in the downtown merchants? Yep, it's all in the central business district. So. From water to green and from um, fourth over to, to Washington. So perfect. Yep, it's great. And then the day after that, on Friday, a week from today, we have our 11th annual Art Hop. So if you haven't been to the Art Hop, a great event. We have this year 13 pop-up galleries, which will be located in different merchants and businesses in downtown Henderson. We have over 30 local and regional artists that will set up and um, sell all of their artwork. Uh, it will be for sale, and there's refreshments, uh, cocktails that some of the, the merchants will set up. So just a great fall event. And there's so. no ticket to buy to that, it's right? Great. You just, you just walk great. in from yes. place to place. And let me just tell you, because the food is is yes. fantastic too. Yes. Little snacks everywhere, but it's such a joy to meet the artists. I mean, we go to right. galleries and we go to vendors' events, but we might not have the artist right there. Right. Tell yeah. me the story behind this piece, mm -hmm. or what inspired you to do this. That's what I. One of the things I love about the art hall. Right. There's some people that have come every year, and every year they buy a piece, so they have a little bit of a memento from the past 11 years, which is really neat. Well, and you have a great variety too. Oh, it's, yeah. I mean, it's art of every, every kind. kind. Right. Right. And. We we also um, have, will have a gallery this year with the SOFA students, the School of Fine Arts. So, and that's wonderful to just give you know the high school students and younger an outlet to showcase their work as well. So much talent over there, right. and that's just a stellar event and fun to do. It's, it's easy to fun. go from place mm -hmm. to place, and and like you said, it's free. And free it's free, times. even better. Uh, now we're going to do the Day of the Dead. Right. This is the first uh, annual, hopefully, Dia de los Muertos event in downtown Henderson. That will be on Saturday from four to seven. So next Saturday, the second. Um, and again, a free event for the family. Bring them down, and you know what? Great opportunity uh, for. I know Evansville has an event also a Dia de los Muertos event that day, but what a great opportunity for all of us to learn a little bit more about a different culture. Um, and they're, you know, bringing that diversity into these events. It's just so wonderful for us to have that opportunity to learn so much more about, you know, the, this Mexican holiday. So we're well, really and then excited. We have so many uh, right. Hispanic friends who have businesses who live yes. here, and this is a wonderful celebration. And it's, it, it is something to learn about because right. it's a fascinating tradition. Exactly. And exactly. where will that take place, so Lindsay? That will take part uh, in in Central Park, which is, if you were to Google it, it's 10 South uh, Main Street. Um, and there'll be a uh, mariachi band, um, food trucks, live music. They'll, you can sign up to set up an ofrenda where you can, you know, decorate your uh, little grave site uh, and recognize and, and honor past loved ones, you know, loved ones that have passed. So for me, I'm looking forward to just soaking in all of the, the new cultural culture of this event. So Abraham Brown, Marcos, um, Nicholas have been great in really spearheading this and also working with Montessori in, in Evansville. We've partnered with them this year um, and they have a lot of knowledge that they're bringing to the event and, and great things. So it should be a lot of fun. It's, it's fascinating yeah. to see those altars that people create. Right. They really go all out. Of course, the color, the costumes, the food, mm -hmm. and just the stories behind this tradition right. enriches our community. Definitely. Well, Definitely. thank you, Lindsay. Thank Appreciate you. it. Fun in downtown Henderson. Don't miss it. Great stuff going on around over there. And uh, speaking of great stuff, our weather guy, you know, he's, he's great stuff, too. Yeah, I have no great forecast. And you know that, Angie. You know that, too, Lindsay. I, <laughs> I, yeah, I delivered last week, not this week. I'll have the forecast coming up.